Hello, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Divine Conversations, and welcome to October. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Fairly timeless, doesn't necessarily have to resonate for October. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. You have a card that's come out already, and it's the sun. We're just gonna dive into this. I'm gonna take that, but I wanna shuffle two more times. Um, <clears throat> illumination, bright awareness. Scorpio, I feel like you've discovered something. What's going on for Scorpio? Five of Swords. You re uh, all of a sudden, suddenly, instantly, out of nowhere, out of the blue, seemingly. You recognize exactly what this situation is that you've been dealing with. You see it now. It's clear and bright as day. You can't deny it anymore. There's no room for indecision. There's no room for, well, maybe it's this, maybe it. Nope, 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 nope. What's going on for Scorpio? Page of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. I'm literally here, gosh, I'm literally hearing Devil Woman, She Devil. What is going on here, Scorpio? The Page of Cups is some sort of reconciliation, some sort of reconciliatory energy to the Ace of, Ace of Pentacles. It, um, were you thinking, somebody here might have been thinking that whomever is represented by the Queen of Cups was an evil person or was not who they say they were or something like that. But that, that's, that, that is part of this combative energy of the Five of Swords. I don't, what's going on here, Scorpio? I can't tell if you want to make an, I, I, okay, I can't tell if this is, your realization here is of what the, combat, the combative energies have been this Five of Swords situation and wanting to turn around and make a commitment to whomever this Queen of Cups is. Oh. 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 So, okay. So, actually, this Queen of Cups might be you. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. The Queen of Cups can be kind of enabling sometimes. And I think what you're realizing, Scorpio, is just how enabling you have been in this situation. I feel like you, Scorpio, or maybe for the cross watcher, whomever this is for, but this is, this is the energy, a reading for the energy of Scorpio, so just take it in your life, place it as it fits naturally. But I think you're starting to realize that or you're, you're starting to see, maybe we'll say the error of your ways. Uh, and this may be more than just with one specific person. This may be an overall or general theme for you. But it feels like someone here has been giving another person too many chances. Too willing to b give someone the benefit of the doubt. Too willing to focus on the good aspects versus the negative aspects. And obviously there's going to be positive and negatives in all situations, okay? You can't have one without the other, but it feels like there has been some sort of imbalance here. And constantly giving another person a chance to succeed when, well, I don't want to define that part, but ultimately what it feels like here is ultimately it just becomes detrimental. 
And I feel like this is that moment where you're starting to see it clearly for what it truly is and realize you've got to do something differently now. And this is all for the sake of protecting yourself and having a better, healthier life existence, better mental health, better emotional health. All right, so I'll show you the cards. First card was the sun. That came, fly that came popping out, flying out while I was shuffling. And then, so then we pulled the rest. Five of swords, page of cups, ace of pentacles, queen of cups. The subject of this reading is the queen of cups. Whether that's you, Scorpio, or that's the cross watcher or someone you're associated with, someone that's in your life, whatnot, whatever. This could be a friend or family member. It doesn't matter. Take it as it resonates. But the, the, the subject of the reading is this Queen of Cups here. And what I feel like is happening is this Queen of Cups is learning how to have boundaries. Learning when to say en enough is enough. Learning when to recognize, learning how to say no and learning how to, how to recognize whether they should give someone another chance or stop trying. And this is all having to do with better health and wellness of the well-being of this Queen of Cups energy, okay? All right, um, Five of Swords. What's this Five of Swords for Scorpio? Five of Pentacles. King of Wands. Oh boy. Um, you or this person might be a Libra Scorpio cusper because we were just talking about this with the Scorpio reading. Um, I'm not going to go dive into, into, into too much detail, but in the Scorpio reading, the energy was like this King of Wands here, which came out for Scorpio, was pursuing someone else or maybe a specific type of energy that is not right for them any longer that is not in alignment for them with them not in alignment with what it is that they want and what it is that they want is some sort of commitment in that reading you had the king of wands but we also had the queen of wands the queen of wands was reversed so this feels similar so you might want to go watch that reading but regardless Five of Swords right now for Scorpio is being clarified by the Five of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Someone is pursuing this situation from a lack mentality point of view. And the feeling here is, if I could just get this... What? If I could just get this person to love me, everything will be fine. Oh, honey, don't do that to yourself. But it feels like that's the realization you're coming to at this point, or this person is coming to at this point. Chasing and or pursuing after something that is not in alignment with you, okay, but it's really because it's coming, this person is coming from, or at least has been coming from, some sort of lack mentality type of energy. Overall, clarifying, damn, yo, this really might be, you really might be a Libra Scorpio cusper. Because underneath the deck, clarifying this Five of Swords, we do have overall energy of the Hierophant. And that came out with the King of Wands also. That came out as a clarification for the King of Wands, clarifying the fact that this King of Wands wants some sort of commitment. Go watch that Scorpio reading. I'm sorry, the Libra reading. We're doing the Scorpio reading right now. <laughs> the Libra reading. <laughs> okay. So then next, what I want to clarify here is the Queen of Cups. What's the Queen of Cups for Scorpio? This Queen of Cups energy. So you're starting to become emotionally aware. Something about this situation is pushing you within and forcing you, or at least guiding you, leading you to start to look at how it is you truly feel and specifically how this situation, this dynamic, maybe it's a situation with a specific person or maybe it's just a, like a general theme, but how this dynamic and or situation is making you feel. You're being forced, led, pushed, guided, inspired to look at your true feelings here. Queen of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. Yep. This is not working. 
this is not working, this is not working, this is not working. And then eventually that phrase of this is not working pushes or leads this person to say, okay, but why is it not working then? Leads you to investigate, is leading you to really look at what it is you're feeling and or how this is making you feel. What's really going on here then? I feel like, especially for Scorpio, Scorpio is a very fixed, is a fixed sign. Scorpio is a very, le uh, uh, I'm sorry, is a very um, loyal sign. And Scorp as a fixed sign, you know, there may be some resistance to change, although Scorpio, you are all about change. So if anyone's gonna handle change, the best it's gonna be you. But when it comes to change within yourself, that may be very difficult to look at. And that may be where the stubborn energy kind of comes through. But over time, again, another common theme to the Libra reading. But over time, this has gotten you to force you, is what I'm really truly hearing for some of you, um, is forced you to look at Stop looking externally and start going inward and saying, okay, 11-11 on the counter. What's actually going on here? How is this situation developing? Or what are the fruits of my labor here, if any? Or actually starting to get you to question whether or not you actually still want this harvest any longer. Queen of Cups. Nine of Cups, King of Swords, overall energy of the Four of Swords. Pause. Wait, hold on a second. Wait, stop right there. What I'm seeing in my mind is you chasing or someone chasing after someone and not necessarily being able to catch up. But then all of a sudden, suddenly they're like, whoa, stop. And they stop running. No, whoa. They stop running after this person. They stop chasing after this person. And instead of placing so much focus externally on the situation, they're like, oh, wait, hold on a second. Let me check in with myself real quick and make sure this is even what I really want to be doing any longer. This is putting you face to face with your desire to be happy. What would actually make me happy here? Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the King of Swords. This might be a pretty big shift for someone here. Um, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a growth situation. I'm feeling like someone coming out of a level of um, um, adolescence and moving into a stronger level of, of maturity, maybe even adulthood. But this is feeling like some like that moment where someone realizes and or recognizes that something that they wanted in the past is no longer something that they want now. Your, you have changed. Your desires have changed. What would actually make you happy has changed. So this doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, even if you have been or this person has been pursuing someone or something that's not really good for them or has been pursuing it out of a level of lack mentality. The fact that this is shifting isn't a bad thing at all, or at least it doesn't have to be. I always say when the sun comes out, yes, it's the most optimistic card in the deck, but just like our actual sun in our universe here, or our solar system, excuse me, the light from the sun can burn you. But when this does burn you, it's burning you with awareness. It's burning away the falseness, leaving you, okay, with a little bit of a burn, but it's one of the best burns you could ever have because now you have a greater level of awareness that you can do something with, that you can make change with. What are we? Okay, I wanna clarify the sun then. What's the sun energy for Scorpio? The three of cups. The moon. Ooh, we y'all. And then justice. So, okay, I'm laughing. I kind of laugh because huh, the, the moon is, or, sorry, the sun is clarified by the moon. Huh? Okay, that's cute. But I'm really laughing because 
when the three of cups came out, I started to feel like your awareness here is that this alignment, this association that you have with someone may even, it may even be a community, a group of people, but you are realizing the true nature of this, um, partnership, this association that you have with someone, uh, oh gosh, this is hard to put into words. The three of cups is representing the energies through which people come together okay whether this is between you and one person like romantically or this is between you and like a group of people a community a friends group whatever the three of cups is purely just representing the energy that brings people together in celebration or in like-mindedness and whatnot whatever but what you're realizing here scorpio is that either this is an illusion or there is some sort of illusion here, or I, I, at its base, it just is not the right alignment. And that's helping to serve justice into your life or bring justice into your life. The sun is clarified by the three of cups, the moon and justice. And the moon here is representing the illusionary energy. And this might be a deceptive situation, deceptive relationship. There may be a lot of smoke and mirrors. There may be a lot of deception here. But you're seeing past that now. And just like I was saying, even though the sun may be burning you a little bit right now, it's one of the best burns that you can have. Why? Because it's bringing you awareness that is allowing justice to be served, that is allowing the scales to be balanced for you overall is allowing you to do right by yourself is what I'm hearing. And not just by this community or this association that you have with this specific person or these people. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, clarifying the sun, is the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh wee. Ooh wee, that stings a little bit, Scorpio. It does. I'm not gonna lie to you about it. It does sting a little bit. because it's causing you to, co to question really truly where your commitment lies. And for some of you, th this stings because you're realizing here that you have been consistently, diligently, honorably investing in a situation to no avail. I can't believe I put all my time and tension and effort into building a situation or building a relationship with someone who doesn't want me or with someone who is just not right for me. I cannot believe I did that. Don't worry about that, Scorpio. Because what's most important to remember or keep in mind here is that you did. You honored your, this commitment. I mean, you did that. And that is honorable. That is respectable. Maybe it was... Maybe, okay, okay, so fine. Maybe it was just, it was put into the wrong situation, but so what? You learned from it, right? Or at least now you see it. And now that you see it, you can redirect that energy and put it into something that is worth committing to. Okay. Point blank period. We don't have to go into all of that bullshit about how, how did I do this, blah, 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 I'm so stupid, but no, fuck that, Scorpio, stop. It's not even worth it. It's not. You're better than that. You're worth more than that. You can do better now that you're aware. You live and you learn and then get loves. Basically, that's how that goes. That's what, that, that's what it boils down to. Don't let your ego start beating you up about this, okay? I wanna clarify the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, but I actually wanna do it together. I feel like this is like a, I, this is like a conjoined energy. So let's do that. Clarify the Ace of, Cu uh, Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, please. The, the Nine of Swords. All right. My, 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 Scorpio. This sure is interesting. You have the Nine of Swords, death, but death is reversed. Oh, the Knight of Swords reversed and then the Queen of Swords upright. And what I'm hearing from this is you should, you were, 
you should have transformed out of this a long time ago. And that may be part of the reason why that Knight of Pentacles energy, the realization surrounding that Knight of Pentacles energy stings so much. And maybe why you may be getting such a pretty, you may be getting like a damn, damn near third degree burn from the sunlight right now. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at you. I'm just saying like, yikes, that hurts. Um, this is the realization of what your actions have been. Because remember, in the beginning of this, with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like somebody was consistently over and over and over again giving someone another chance when they didn't necessarily deserve it. Overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles. Look, Scorpio, all I really want to say about this is you have the awareness now. And that's kind of what this Queen of Swords energy is saying. Like, look at this. Look at this. You have the Nine of Swords, Death reversed, Knight of Swords reversed. Okay, so there was... So in terms of your action here, in terms of your reciprocal energy, in terms of you giving people or giving this person chances after chance after chance, always being willing to reconcile, always being willing to try again to start over, what not, whatever. That, that, that energy is what has been causing this a level of anxiety here. How could I have done this? Because you weren't allowing yourself to transform. You were misaligned. Scorpio, you're showing up now. Death reversed, but Knight of Swords reversed. Instead of allowing yourself to transform out of this situation, you pursued it. Or this person pursued it. Okay, but that's in the past. Queen of Swords. You're realizing that. And even though the Queen of Swords is a little bit of a harsh energy, what she really feels like right now is saying, whatever. You know that now. Like, let, cut it. Let's just stop. Fucking forget it. Stop beating yourself up over about it. You have the awareness now. The Queen of Swords is saying to you, this energy of the Queen of Swords is saying, or maybe you might be saying to yourself ultimately, you have the awareness now, so what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? It doesn't make sense to sit here and, and, and wallow in pity and, 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 and bemoan and cry over spilled milk, really. That's not gonna do, that ain't gonna get you nowhere. That's gonna do nothing for you. Queen of Swords is saying, okay, you have the awareness, so now what the fuck are you gonna do about it? Now what are you gonna put your efforts into? Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is also a realization of, well, damn, I really can commit to something, put some, go like put the hard work in there. Okay, fine, it may not have worked out the way I wanted this time, but actually I'm really truly capable of that, aren't I? You're damn right. That's a place of power right there. Closing message for you, Scorpio. Six of Swords. I really do want to encourage you to, if this is resonating for you, I really want to encourage you to watch the Libra reading because there are more messages that, that are a part of this energy that I'm not going to, I spent 30 minutes talking to Libra about it. So just go watch that reading, right? But overall, um, closing message, we're back to that Knight of Pentacles. Even though this energy stings right now or something associated surrounding this energy associated with or surrounding this energy stings even though something stings right now ultimately you get to walk away from this knowing you've got this in you you've done that and you can do it again closing message for you scorpio is the six of swords to the ten of wands you're moving away from burden from struggle, from strife. But also, the Ten of Wands doesn't necessarily have to be a bad energy. Okay, yes, this person is pretty, is pretty burdened right now. I mean, he's literally carrying 10 wands, 10 fully developed wands in his arms, heading towards somewhere. And it looks like he's got a, a ways to go. 
So that's part of the struggle. But also what this could represent is he has a lot to show for the work that he's done. Maybe even a lot of products to sell when he gets to some sort of market or something like that. This 10 of wands could also represent the energy of delivering finished products. Or at the very least, having a lot to show for it. And that's what I'm hearing for you, Scorpio. Even though you're moving forward away from a struggle, away from some sort of rough situation, you're moving from rough waters to calmer waters, you still have a hell of a lot to show for the work that you've done here. Or for the way that you've conducted yourself. Your persistence. Your ability to honor something and follow through with it. And do a good job with it too. You've got a lot to show for this. So even though your ego may be getting in the way right now, saying, ah, ah rah, 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 I, I put all this time, attention, and effort into something that rah, 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 rah. Okay, maybe you may be caught, you might be caught up in that right now, but ultimately when you boil it down, what it boils down to is that you've got a lot to show for your efforts. And that is mostly in the form of what you are actually really, truly capable of. And if given the right situation and or circumstance, that effort and attention and follow through that you put into the situation previously could be applied to another situation that is much better for you and will actually give you a lot more to show for it. So don't beat yourself up so much. You didn't do anything wrong. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you so much love. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic month. I'm sending you so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. Ha, <laughs> ha,